right? So now that we got that, that you're gonna keep switching back to that solo. It's I think it's about four times in the actual song. So now, now we got um, the chorus part where they go that deaf, dumb, and blind kid. Joel plays a mean pin. That that bit, if you know this song, that deaf, dumb, and blind kid bit is when after you've done the main rift and all that. But I'm not, I'm not much of a singer, so I'm not going to sing while playing. Uh, right, this chorus bit. On, if you look at many tabs, many people will show you how they have their hands like all over here and they're all playing these fancy chords and everything. I'm not going to be. I don't do that. I take some simple card chords, cards, chords. <laughs> so start off with an A minor. Time it twice. So we got. They come down to an A. So. Then down to an, an E. So. Then a D. Sorry. Then up to an E. So we have. Right, that that is basically it for the chorus. It's just and after that, it's just back down to the seventh fret and doing that again all the way back up. Then he comes to the chorus again. Right, so the chorus again is A minor, A, D, E, E. Right, then after that they got this um after you've done the solo again, they'll come back up to the chorus and go do 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 that twice again, it's twice in every single chorus. Then after it they got the other bit the he's a pinball wizard there. That bit. All I do on that is even simpler than the chorus. You you finish on your E, so we have do 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 Then after that I just do another bit. Take the finger off so you got the E minor shape and down to the A minor, so is right on that gut then down to a G right that bit it's just he's a he's a pinball wizard there has to be a twist the pinball wizard a down to an E, so that's G to a D, then it do, then it's then I do a little variation. You don't have to do it, but I do. As I'm strumming it, I do pinky on, pinky on, middle finger off. So it, kind of like that. So we got. Next bit, you go. How do you think he does it? I don't. That bit. Why is it? I'm strumming that. There we go. And all that basically is is you progressing up to a G shape. So you got the. Da, da, da. Then you put that pinky on, and you go that finger on the third string, second fret, and then you bring. So it's basically that C that um what I call the G2 or G7, however I called it in the first one which is actually an alteration of C and we've got that and you bring it up to a G so it's just you know, it's just strumming it as you're doing it so then you back down into your solo again So that is that's basically it. I'll just I'll just run through the entire song again just for you, just so you can actually visually see how I play it more. So we got the intro. slide down to the seventh fret for you so you can see and then we got
Now the chorus through bit. Here we go. Oh, sorry, I messed that up. And after that, there is a bit in the song where it's like a kind of type of mandolin sound. I've been watching many people play it, and I and I've I've been guessing and trying to work out that they play it down on the tenth fret, so you get that <laughs> that type of thing, right? So if you do, if you want to do that, then it'd be down on the tenth fret. So this finger's on the tenth fret. I'm not 100 sure on this. Then slide down to the seventh fret. Down to your fifth. Down to your third. Then that down to your second. Right, then that's then it's the then the chord I use for the outro, I use the chorus chords again, so it'd be click twice. But other people have different ways of things like they they do different chords and everything, but I don't do that. So that is basically the entire Pinball Wizard song. So apart from that, you just gotta get used to playing the intro bit on your um for that bit. But that bit is basically the same shape as you would take down the seventh fret. You can just you can play it and just and slide it down, or you can do the open strings and then slide it down to seventh fret and start playing it. Apart from that, you just gotta get used to sliding up the fretboard each time, remembering where you gotta play it getting used to coming back to the 7th fret and the 10th fret to play the, um, the riff parts and just getting in time and especially with the uh, that can take some people a long time to learn but it didn't take me, I just worked that out just I'm going on ultimateguitar.com type in Pinball Wizard, got the tabs I can't remember exactly which ones they were but if you find them they will have the same well they won't have exactly the same chords I use I just altered them a bit to make them easy for me as I'm a beginner at the time I've done this video, but no, apart from that, that is basically Pinball Wizard. And if I do get any requests for um, tabs or anything, then I'll gladly try and make something up and put it download, so you lot can also make it a lot easier for yourself. But apart from that, no, that's Pinball Wizard.